large mass m is suspended from two massless strings of an equal length as shown below. The tension force in each string is... So for this type of problem, the first thing we want to do is to draw the free body diagram for this system. So we know that this object here of mass m is going to be pulling downward with its weight given by mg. And in each string, it's going to experience a tension. So in the first one, I'm going to label it T1 for the first tension and T2 in the second string for the second tension. Now that we've labeled all of the forces that are acting on this system, we have to apply Newton's second law to deal with the components and the overall. So Newton's second law is net force is equal to MA. Now for the y-axis, the net force of its y components is equal to MAY. But now remember that the system is in equilibrium, so that means it's going to stay where it is. It's not going to move. There's not going to be any tendency for it to go up, down, left, right, no direction. It's not going to move. So knowing that it's not going to move, we know that there's not going to be any acceleration on the system, so we know that it's going to be equal to zero. So the net force acting on the object is going to cancel out each other. It's going to stay where it is. So off the basis of that, we know that the sum of all the y components is going to be equal to zero. Now, if we apply Sokotoa to this, and using cos of theta, we can solve for the y components of T2 and T1. So in doing so, we would have T1 cos of theta plus T2 cos of theta minus, because mg is down, is equal to 0. Now, if we solve this out, we have T1 cos of theta plus T2 cos of theta is equal to mg. Now, we know that they're both the same length, and they're both labeled theta, so we know that they're both the same angle. So we can actually factor this out and have T1 plus T2. We factor out cosine of theta is equal to mg. Here we have T1 plus T2 is equal to mg over cosine of theta. Now, if we show the x-axis, we'd have the sum of all the forces in the x-direction. So for the max, once again, our system is in equilibrium, so the acceleration in the x-direction is going to be zero. And now if we again apply Sokotoa, but this time using sine of theta, we'd have t1 sine of theta is equal to t2 sine of theta. Here, if we cancel these two out by dividing by sine of theta from both sides. That would give us T1 is equal to T2. Now with that being said, we have this first equation here, and then we have this equation here. So now if we just rewrite T1 and T2 as say T, that would be T plus T is equal to mg over cos sine of theta. Now, if we add those two together, it would be 2t is equal to mg over the cosine of theta. And if we solve for t, we would find that the tension in a single string is mg over 2 cosine of theta. So that's the tension in only one string. Now, the question was asking for the tension in each string. So, we have just proven here that the tension in one string is given by mg over 2 cosine theta, which corresponds to answer E, mg over 2 cosine of theta.